but beyond that, people are buying into the message, the whole idea that you know the world economy has been has been very horrible. However, we you know not only held things fairly stable, but we've instituted some fairly revolutionary measures. The 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 truth is that even if we weren't facing those economic challenges, I think that the case for re-election would still be very strong. When you look at what we've done in education, in areas of health, healthcare, if you look, for example, what we've done in agriculture, the new initiative, we heard about that last night, law and order, um, the international business sector, of course, restructuring of the whole concept of uh, tourism services and um, but we, we have done a lot of very good things and, and the list just goes on. So I'm, I'm very comfortable uh, making the case, not only to the residents of St. Michael South Central um, for a third term as their MP, but also making the case to wider Barbados to let this government continue doing the good work that it's doing. Do you find it's tough of this, this time around to convince people that they need that, to go with the DLP? Well, I mean, 2008 was a very unusual election. You know, there's, there's that, you know, euphoria aspect and so on that, that, that goes along with, with, with change. Um, um, clearly, people, you know, wanted to see the back of the last government, and that, of course, was working in our favor. This time around, we are making a case for ourselves to continue. So it's a, I, w I wouldn't say it's harder. I'd say it's different um, because now you are building a case. I would say that, that based on our track record, what we have been able to accomplish, it is certainly easy to make that case. And, uh, and, and, and frankly, it is, it is enjoyable. It's enjoyable, you know, talking to single mothers and explaining how they may have benefited from not only the summer camps program, but from not having to look for the resources to send their children to school and, and the savings that, that, can, that can ensue from that. And, and doing that in the face of where cost of living all around the world is going up, um, much of our cost of living increases we've been importing. Um, I, I think it's a it's a it's a very very good thing to be able to to make the case of what this government is doing to to improve the well-being of, of all Barbadians. And and apart from just responding to the immediacy of the crisis. We're also doing some fundamental things as well. I mean, you hear about the suite of labor legislation. That is something that will, you know, impact positively generations to come. You hear, for example, the constituency council. So there, there, there are other things as well taking place, and, and we are very, very, and, uh, we're very happy to be able to put that with people of Barbados. And I, and I feel extremely good and proud to be part of this team. Thank you. Thank you.